Hey everyone. It's a bit windy today, so bear with me on the uh, the sound. Hopefully it comes out okay. But I uh, wanted to share that I have the production model BX cylinders in the shop. So I went ahead and put them on my 2017 BX2380. So I had these overnighted to me. Those of you who have already ordered, if you're watching this in real time, yours will be shipping within the next few days. Uh, they have to actually get to me. But since I had these overnight, I have a, a little bit of a head start. And the reason I wanted to do that is because one of the big questions I, I had personally, even though I've already uh, tested the prototypes that I built and then based those, the drawings and everything on those, these are the actual production models. So these aren't, typically I have a production prototype and then I have a production model. In this case, I actually built the prototypes myself and then based the measurements on those prototypes and then I just went straight into production, which is a little risky. Usually works out, but I have made a few $10,000 mistakes on some other ones. Um, hopefully not doing that anymore. And, uh, and in this case, uh, it was not a mistake. It was good because we'll bring them to the market sooner and, uh, and get them out to, to the people who want additional lift capacity as well as additional lift height. Now, if you watched the previous video, I tried to put the tractor in the same spot and I'm pretty sure I'm very close to it. You know, we're not getting down to the millimeter here. Uh, one of the big factors that you're going to have are what kind of tires do you have? Do you have the R14s? Do you have the R4s like I have? Do you have turf tires? What is your pressure? What is your concrete like? I tried to find the, you know, the smoothest concrete when I did the measurement. So I've made the measurement. I know what it is, uh, but I'll try to show it to you in real time here. So that said, let me talk a little bit about what these look like compared uh, to the stock ones. Now, in the in my prototypes, ended up getting, uh, I think, about 11 inches more. It was 65 inches with the stock, and then uh, I think it was like 76 and a half or something like that for the Hydros Plus prototype version. And what I did after making the drawings, I squeezed out as absolutely as much as I could because I was able to test it and I knew where the clearances were. So um, we'll, we'll see that in just a minute. But as you can see, this is a larger bore. So it's 1.75. This is 1.5. This actually 1.75 is the same bore size that you get on the LA525 from the factory. Now that doesn't mean you can necessarily lift as much, but it does mean that the same pressure, this cylinder will push as much as the uh, factory or stock version of the LA525, which is on a much larger tractor. So um, we've got a bigger bore, but where we get our additional length is Kubota did us a favor, or, or I would say they didn't do us a favor simply because if they would have taken that up in the first place and given us, you know, 76 inches of, of overall lift height, then, then that would have been a plus. But since they left us this opportunity, we took it in here and uh, increased the barrel, which increases your stroke. But the important part is we left the uh, retracted length the same. That means we can bring the loader down to the exact same level on the lower side and now we can actually go higher so uh one only one small nuance to this is that you have uh this port is a little bit further forward and all that really does is takes a little bit of tension out of out of this uh it doesn't have as much slack as it would before because it would have n normally connected about right here and now it connects here not a big deal. I'll have a, an additional zip tie because you have zip ties on it now. I don't have my zip ties on, but um, because of that, you know, that, that stretches a little bit. But other than that, it is a uh, bolt-on replacement. And as you can see, uh, quite a bit more lift height. Now I'm not going to go through, and I'm not going to go back to stock and remeasure in the same place. I don't honestly think it's that important, but it is important that we get the final height and I really need two hands for this or three and so let me pause and then I'll try to get the tape measure in the right spot all right here it is final answer in my best judgment based on my vantage point which is way down here is 77 and three quarters so it's as straight as I can get it in both directions and I measured in two spots but with only one hand it's kind of tough to do so 
you know, does it matter if it's 77 or 78 or somewhere in between? Directionally, you're getting, it was 65 and a quarter before, so directionally you're getting uh, 12 and a half more inches based on what I just measured. If you've got different tires, if you've got something else going on, you know, you may end up with a slightly different answer, but a foot more just directionally for this tractor is a very big deal. And I mentioned it in the previous video, the way Kubota builds their loaders, they actually reach out further. And so this puts it, I think, more on par with, as far as the difference between the hood and the end of the bucket with uh, something like the John Deere. Now, you can't, uh, it's too many apples and oranges because that bucket is tiny, the John Deere bucket is further out. But at the end of the day, you can clearly see is as you go down, and you can only dump to this level here. I don't know if, can I dump without starting? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so dumping, you can clearly see that you are not gonna have any concerns of dumping gravel on your hood, at least this way. This way might be a different story. Um, don't do that, I guess, is all I can say. Uh, I think it's probably a risk yeah, for an NSL loader, it's going to be a risk no matter what, but you can dump more of it on your hood if you so choose. Um, okay, well, that's it. That's what I wanted to show for today. More stuff coming for the BX and other Kubota models. Uh, the next thing for this tractor uh, is most likely going to be the turbo. It's second in line, and I've just wrapped uh, the turbo, turbo work for the, at least the 1025, there's still 1023 that has to be looked at, but, but I've already started on this one. So I don't think it's going to be a whole lot further behind. Um, got a lot of the, the kinks of turbo things worked out, which should make this much faster than the previous one. Um, so if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so also go to the website and and subscribe there with your email address. I send a monthly newsletter, usually nothing more than a monthly newsletter. If you're a customer, you'll automatically get that. But um, I don't try to spam people, I just try to keep you informed of, of what's coming and what to get excited about. Questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.